The personality of volcanoes, understanding eruptions. Have you ever wondered what makes a volcano erupt? Why are some gentle giants while others explode with fury? It all boils down to the volcano's personality, determined by the magma simmering beneath. Deep underground, molten rock called magma is constantly on the move. Think of it like a giant underground pressure cooker. Magma's thickness, or viscosity, determines how explosive an eruption will be. Runny magma equals mellow eruptions. In places like Hawaii, magma is runny, like melted chocolate. This type, called basaltic magma, has less silica, a compound that makes magma sticky. It flows easily, creating gently sloping shield volcanoes like those in those beautiful Hawaiian postcards. Thick magma equals explosive results. But things get intense when magma is thick and sticky like peanut butter. This silicic magma, rich in silica, is found in volcanoes near colliding tectonic plates, like those in Japan. Imagine shaking a can of soda and then trying to open it. That's what happens with thick magma. Trapped gas bubbles build up pressure until BAM! The result? Explosive eruptions that blast out ash, rock, and gas, creating cone-shaped stratovolcanoes. Mount Fuji in Japan is a stunning example of a stratovolcano. Hawaiian eruptions, like a calm lava lamp, oozing lava flows. Strombolian eruptions, more lively with bursts of lava and gas, like a fountain. Vulcanian eruptions, short, violent bursts of gas and ash. Plinian eruptions, the most powerful type. Think massive columns of ash reaching high into the atmosphere, like Mount Vesuvius eruption that buried Pompeii. So whether a volcano erupts with a gentle flow or a powerful blast depends on the magma's recipe. Each eruption reminds us of the incredible forces shaping our planet. Let's learn about disasters together. See you soon.